back at it for another day. We are back in the loader. We got that thing running. <clears throat> and we are spreading compost. So the other day we were loading it. It's been a few days we had, I don't know, an inch of rain or so come through. And <clears throat> so we had to kind of killed some time, did some stuff in the shop. You know, just some small things here and there. But um, yeah, so anyways, we, uh, I'm, I'm spreading compost now and this thing's been working great, except for yesterday. Um, the day before I spread, I don't know, I was up here doing something and I decided I was just gonna start spreading. Well, it turned out that I was a little low on fuel. Um, didn't run out, but um, there's a little silver filter right there on the side of, uh, it's a, it's a pre-filter for the lift pump on that. Turns out when you run that tank low on that thing, there's some crap in it. And yeah, so anyways, I plugged that up and I was having issues yesterday, all kinds of stuff. So that's how it goes. It's cold and windy. So it's been the last couple days. So today looks like it's going to be a nice day. We got some nice sunshine. Um, and we're just going to jump right into this and get loaded. Um, it's 9 o'clock, so we're going we're gonna to get these things loaded up and start spreading. So here we go. As you can see, I got everything shut off. Still having issues. There's a couple spurt spots on time lapse, you can probably tell. Um, I am 95% sure this thing is still causing the issues. So we're gonna tear it off. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to go get a new one. I'm hoping. So I don't know, we'll see. And then I also need a crescent wrench because of my other issue is my apron chain you probably can't tell now see now it seems nice and tight but um my my jam nut is spun back and i could spin that by hand when i had a load on it so what's happening is you can see right here is a slat and then below that um Right here is a slat, and then this is the what the chain rides on. The floor, the floor of the bed. Well, that slat is catching, and yeah, we're having issues. So, um, I think I just need to tighten the chain up some, from what I can tell. We were talking about that the other day with this thing, is that we need to make sure the t tension stays good on it. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna go check in my box in my truck and see if i got a crescent wrench or not and go from there all right so we got our new filter here hopefully when we throw it in line we have no more power issues because this thing spits and sputters and without any power and falls on its face and just can't do anything so hopefully when i throw this back in there to protect this pump here we'll take care of my issues so Fingers crossed, it fixes all my problems.
that thing run. We're gonna get loaded back up. And this field is actually, I think like 90% done. But I'm gonna run across the street and do this little cornfield right back here. Get that knocked out so we can, cause we dumped it here because it was easier for, uh, the trucks are worried about getting in that field in the sand and get stuck. So they just dumped all of it right here and I figured I could just run it across the street with this. I also thought that driveway was a lot more across from that driveway. And this thing doesn't turn quite, quite so well. I mean, it'll lock the steering up and um, some other things that we think is because this has got a solid rear end in it and a solid front end. So when you get your twist in it, it the front end pulls so hard that the cylinders aren't strong enough to overpower it, or the pump isn't strong enough to overpower it, I should say, one of the two. So I think that's what the steering issue is with this thing. We've always had it, can't ever figure it out. So, and I've drove it enough now to the point where it seems like, and we we just rebuilt this front axle in this a couple years ago. Uh, we had all kinds of problems with it, and actually it really just had a bearing go out. And so we rebuilt the whole thing, and it's supposed to have a limited slip in it. I don't know how it works, couldn't figure it out. Maybe I'm wrong on what a limited slip looks like, but it's got clutch packs and all kinds of stuff in it. So maybe it's just a solid front axle, but it used to have a 3,000 gallon tank or vac tank on it with a set of injectors that went 30 inches deep. So you needed the everything working together to make it work. But yeah, so anyways, that's the little brief history of that thing. And so we're going to get loaded up, get spreading and see if our issue is fixed. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we're working on our third load on the spreader and we have not had an issue since we changed the fuel filter. So fingers crossed that it stays like that. But we're just gonna keep rolling. Uh, we're like halfway through this pile, maybe a little bit more, so. Yeah, and I think, I don't know where the trucks are, if they're gonna come up at what time or what, but we'll make a call and see what's going on there, and we might go to haul in some compost here pretty soon do some other fields. So this thing's running great now. Fingers crossed. Before, before something happens. But we're gonna get this fired up, load up. We're gonna try to get this pile knocked out. The trucks are coming, or the guys who run the trucks are coming. And we'll get to haul some compost around. And if this gets left here, this gets left here. So yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm happy that this thing's running right now. It was very frustrating. I would have probably had this pile gone by now if I didn't have all the issues yesterday. I'd run out of power and I was fighting with it and there was a whole bunch of other stuff that went on with it. So yeah. So we're all happy that it's running now. So let's keep our let's keep our day moving. We're moving the compost that we talked about. So right now basically we're hauling that stuff away over there. This stuff I'm just taking and shortening these piles up. Um, this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet over here. That might just disappear. Might add it to this one. I don't know, I don't know what my plan is. I haven't got that far. But we are, since I knocked this berm down, this area right here, um, that I, you guys saw that. Um, 
I'm gonna try to straighten this field up more to like right in here off of the edge of where that berm was because if you go this way you'll see that right on the other side of this pile right in here is a wet spot and if we were to knock that wet spot down if we were to get rid of that wet spot in the compost site we have um it'd make it easier we want to have the trucks going down through it and a spot for us to get stuck and all that um farming through it's no big deal for us so um that's kind of what my thought is if we're just to shorten it up past that and then um making sure that we actually get rid of compost every year because right now it's taken up i don't know something like 10 acres or something like that and i don't know if it really needs to do that or not so if we just i mean there's a lot of space right here you guys see it i mean it's probably 200 feet from this pile to that pile granted we took one windrow out but um just needs to be we need to make sure it's managed right you know so that's what we're working on we're trying to do a better job at that so yeah anyways Graham, what's your thoughts you just want to go play don't you huh you just want to go play you got to run around for a few minutes while we were putting fuel in the loader now he's out of breath so now he's over here panting the whole time so that's always fun to listen to but yeah anyways so we're gonna keep moving this then I think we are gonna go back to moving some wood chips. We're just jumping around a little bit, you know, how life goes, just jumping around. So I'm gonna get this move stacked and then, I don't know, go from there. I mean, I might take that, there's another section of this windrow right here. It's got a split in it and I might put it onto that. I don't know. <sighs> well, I'm waiting for the trucks. They're wrong. They're running a little bit farther, so, oh, a burp. But they're running a little bit farther, so I got a little bit more time to kill. And so I might just as well keep working on mixing this stuff up because as I move it around, it's all getting mixed in and hoping to break down better. So that's kind of my thoughts. As long as I keep it all moving, we're doing good.